I'm Lisa Itell, Motion Editor with Design World. Today we're in Irwin, Pennsylvania to chat with Travis Schneider, the Product Manager of High Precision Mechanics at the Parker Hannafin Electromechanical and Drives Division. This division offers motors, gearheads, and gear motors, drives, controllers, and linear actuators, Cartesian robots, gantry robots, and rotary positioners, HMIs and industrial PCs, and software tools, as well as integration services. Uh, Travis, I hope I didn't miss anything here today. Uh, thanks for having us. Absolutely. No, no. I think you, I think you covered just about everything there. So yeah, simply stated, what we focus on are motion systems, really, that address our customers' motion needs. So that could be things you know, as small as linear stages that fit within the palm of your hand to complete multi-axis robots that you know move hundreds of pounds, multiple meters. So my focus here uh, is addressing our customers' needs that are. Uh, positioning products uh, that perform to within plus or minus a micron or, or well under a micron. So those are applications that might be in the semiconductor industry and high precision manufacturing, electronics manufacturing, or laser processing and laser machining systems. That's awesome. So among the tools that you offer for automation um, are software and controls as mentioned, um, as well as user interface and experience, also known as UI UX design. So tell me how you help all of these products that you've mentioned, as well as this UI, UX design, um, come together for your customers. Sure, sure, yeah, and uh, actually we're in the midst of working on a, a number of different software tools right now as we speak that are really geared at, at minimizing our customers' engineering resource spend. That is making it easier for them to design in our products in electronic form. We've done extensive studies. We've actually partnered with a heuristics group and done extensive voice of customer studies, not only throughout the United States, so we did a lot of surveys in you know, places like Ohio and Minnesota, and the heartland of America, also on the coasts, so in the New England states, California, Oregon. We also interviewed customers out in Europe and Asia, so Germany, Amsterdam, Belgium, as well as Korea, China, Malaysia. So we're really trying to make it really intuitive and easy for our customers to spec in our products. We're trying to basically digitize our applications engineering department in a lot of the tools and, and bring them right to our customers. All right, Travis, and what kinds of large-scale industry moves is Parker seeing to miniaturization and software integration as well as the rise of IoT. So miniaturization has been, been a trend for the past couple of years and we've been working to address that with miniaturizing a lot of our products. And I think miniaturization goes one step further than that. It's not only about miniaturizing kind of the footprint of the product, in some cases it's about making the product a little less obtrusive to our customer's design as well. So being able to kind of blend that into the customer's machine in a bit more integrated way certainly helps. So we've got a variety of new miniature products that we're hoping will address our customers' needs in the way of the new MSR and MPR positioners. But that's one area where we've attempted to kind of address the miniatur miniaturization trend. With respect to software integration, this is something actually that we do quite well as well. So we provide our customers a lot of additional value add in the way of our metrology integration. So we'll use things like laser interferometers to actually pick up inaccuracies, mechanical inaccuracies within the, the products themselves and then we provide our customers a test data report and they can actually use that to compensate electronically for inaccuracies within our mechanical actuators to arrive at a higher performing a higher precision system overall. And that's awesome. How was that done before? Um, what kinds of verification were available to design engineers? You know, before uh, customers really took advantage of, of our test data, it was, it was kind of guess and check, right? They'd use things like fiducials and applications, so a little uh, marker or a little tick mark in, in the uh, actual uh, element that they're looking to investigate to try and qualify uh, the stage's performance and then kind of teach and repeat, very labor intensive. Um, but by leveraging the exact uh, metrology data that we're providing with each stage as it comes off the line, um, they're able to do that much more seamlessly and much more easily in the application. That's great, Travis. Uh, before we finish, is there an example of a pre-engineered solution that you're free to share with us? Sure, um, and actually we've, we've got uh, one example here. Uh, this is a, a, uh, an existing product, so this is our 404XR. It's one of our, our most popular stages. And what we've done uh, recently is we've integrated this, this concept of the universal motor adapter. Actually, if, if you want to hold on to that for just a second, I'll show you kind of how this works. Um, so one of the common customization elements that we've had to do for our customers for a long time with respect to integrating motors to our gearheads is adapting third-party motors. It's a pretty common uh, request for our customers. So how we do that is we've got a flange and a separate bushing 
that we integrate on board our GearHead products uh, to adapt to a variety of different third-party motors. We've got a huge database, thousands of different motors uh, that we've accrued over time. So what we've recently done is we've taken that same concept and we've integrated that on the, uh, on the back end of the XR. We're hoping it uh, solves a lot of our customers' uh, application requirements. Awesome. Well, Travis, thanks for having us here today. Um, thank you for watching. For more information, visit motioncontroltips.com or parker.com slash emn.